The Base Linker system allows not only to issue commercial documents, but also to edit them. In the given order, we have information about the invoice issued. Let's go to the order card. Let's move on to editing. During editing, we can create a duplicate of it. We do it right here. A PDF document has been generated with the information in the upper right corner of which date is the duplicate. We can issue a correction from this perspective, delete the document, or return to the list. During the addition, we can add a new item on the invoice. We define the basic values, that is, name, EAN number, SKU number, quantity, and gross price with VAT rate. The section below allows you to change the buyer's data. We can edit each field and check its correctness. We confirm such changes with a record. It is also possible to copy the current data from the order to the buyer's data. Below the page, we have the Other Data section. We can change the numbering series of our document here. Select a specific number. From this number, all subsequent documents will be generated. Below, we can choose the month, year, creation date, sale date, payment date. Let's choose the date of payment. Payment method. or currency. We have the ability to determine the currency conversion, city name, issuer, changing the name of us as a seller, or additional information. Let's save it. Let's check the edited invoice. As you can see, its numbering has been changed and the payment date. Another operation that we can perform is issuing a correction to the order from the list level. We go to Correction. We choose the numbering series. We also have the option of issuing corrections from the invoice editing level. We click Issue Correction. There is a series of numbering again. We confirm. First of all, we determine the reason for the issue. The next step in issuing a correction invoice is to specify all the following data. We need to determine whether there is a change of position or a change of data. We choose the numbering series. Similar to the invoice, we can specify the number of such a correction from which each next one will be numbered. Method of payment, issuing, or additional text displayed at the bottom of the invoice. We save. Similarly to the invoice, we can issue a duplicate corrective invoice. Let's return to the list. The list of corrections shows the order for which the correction was created. Also, this information is on our PDF document. This is where we have the invoice information. The situation is the same. On the list of invoices, we have information about the issued correction. As with issued invoices, it is the same with the created receipt. We can also edit it. Let's move on to filtering the list of orders. Let's choose payment as paid. Set the filter. As you can see, the receipt for this order is issued. Let's go to the product card. In the same place, we can open a receipt or edit it. Let's move on to editing. We are in the process of editing this receipt. We can also go to its addition from the list of receipts. All we have to do is go to the receipts list and click on the pencil. 
we have other data below that we can change, such as the number. We can enter the buyer's tax identification number. Save the receipt. Let us return to the list. Here we can preview our generated receipt in the Baselinker system. From the list of receipts, we can select the receipt and delete the selected items. We confirm. The receipt has been deleted. We can remove it completely from the system by clicking on the cross again. We remove. We can only perform complete removal individually for safety reasons. In the case of a correction, we can do the same. We delete the grayed out field again as a record. The document has been deleted. Similarly, we can also delete the invoice. We remove. We can delete the record completely. We have information that there are no invoices issued in our account. As for the pro forma document, it is dynamically updated with the data from the order. Hence, it cannot be edited. So let's check how the document changes. Let's move on to the order. Let's edit the name and surname. Let's enter Jonas Nazario Luz. We save the changes. Let's copy this to the invoice details. Let's go back to pro forma invoices. As you can see, the buyer has changed. There is updated information that it is Jonas Nazario Luz. Pro forma is removed in the same way as other commercial documents. Deleting twice completely deletes the invoice information.